Uh, I think you moved from that microphone when there wasn't a microphone there, so. Oh, okay. All right. Foundational sort of event. I think with like Earth instead of ocean underneath yeah. it. Yeah, ground crews, you know. Like <laughs> land crews, land crews. Land crews. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we have discussed it over the years, and we always look at it, especially after after last year. We said, well, could we do this as a land based event? And it could be possible, but it would be uh, tremendously difficult in part because we've been doing this since 2011, and the events, the logistics, the culture, everything is key to this unique environment that we have. And um, you look at, there are so many events out there, how could we, we recreate that without all of these elements? And we think there, there could be a possibility, but it's, it comes down to the um, and just the difficulty of doing it. And to do that, um, we would have to be doing that, inventing this new thing, whose financial model and Programming model would be totally new while we're still running our full event, and we don't have a tremendous staff. We're a very small organization. I mean, well, that that's sometimes to year round. Right. It's almost funny to call us same company. You know, like we're <laughs> put everybody in one room to have dinner over a small table. Uh, so it's absolutely something we, we're always looking at. We think could be cool, and maybe there is a day where we can pull it off. And to be clear, it's not just a question about, ah, it's too hard to figure out. It's more, it's more like, you know, we, we feel as though we've gotten really good at putting on this particular event, and for us to switch to a different kind of event that is so fundamentally different, whether it's a, something that takes place on land over the course of a long weekend, say, or even just going to a, a different shaped or sized ship or a different cruise line, it's enough of a change that we would want to do that in a very considered and careful way so that we were able to offer something that was that was good. And that, so that feels like this experience. It feels, it feels like this, yeah. Winnebago Caravan. Winnebago. Hey, hey, that was actually one of the first ideas we had before we did a cruise. Train, you talked about doing a train motors. The bus didn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. The bus tour was the first one. The bus is. We pick up a different guest along the way. Just weird. Yeah, we all stop yeah. along the New Jersey Turnpike and yeah. John Hodgson is there. Oh, no, John Hodgson is there. Oh, no, it would have been a funny joke for the first couple of days. Yeah. Then, <laughs> like, no, thank you. Uh, I mean, these, these uh, I work so closely with our operations team and the team on board, and absolutely we understand that, you know, land is where humans live. <laughs> uh, that was true. <laughs> but, uh, so much of what makes this special is that there are over 800 crew on this ship plus the 120 that we bring, and from the custom cakes to the twice daily uh, room service to the fact that there's an all-inclusive food option on, a, on, this, on these small America ships that actually doesn't taste like bad, it tastes great. Like that, that is something that at anywhere near this price point is really difficult to set up on land and would require not just restructuring the field of the event, but also completely restructuring how we staff it. Um, and so it, it would be quite difficult. But I, I do, do like, like the idea, idea, and I hope you're able to do it one day. Yes. And I really do like the idea. Because it's easy for us to say, oh, we can stand on any stage and sing, and then every time we say that, Drew, it's a more named expression. <laughs> <laughs> 